Okay, good morning. Oh, happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm just going to give everything a second to populate. I'm doing this on Facebook Live as well, so let me close out the Facebook piece there. Okay, I'm doing an Instagram uh, Live and so Instagram recording the podcast, this as a podcast and on Facebook. So welcome. Um, and as always, I'm going to do my little podcast intro. So, hey, everybody, this is Kara McCarran and uh, this is the She's the Owner podcast. Thank you for joining me. So this is going to be full disclosure. I'm doing a bit of a plug for the goddess retreat. And that's like literally the note I have is what is the goddess retreat? So um, let me just send some love over to the people who are watching on Instagram. Um, so I'm like really quickly, I want to talk about, I mean, not that quickly, but quickly ish. I want to talk about the goddess retreat. So the goddess retreat is September 11th, or sorry, September 8th to the 11th of this, um, of this year. Hang on. Does anybody else drink green drinks? not the best, but it's super good for you. Okay. So what is the goddess retreat? So it's called the love soldier goddess retreat. And if you followed me for any length of time, you'll know that I have um, pivoted my business somewhat, or maybe not even pivoted as much as I've added to what I was doing current or before this. And so in the past, I was really focused on only doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, only doing group coaching, and then a little bit of the mastermind and no events whatsoever. And so this year, we've really moved things to um, still some one-on-one -on -one coaching, not small group coaching, but more of like a mastermind feel, and then the live events and retreats. Why did I do that? Because as I continue to heal my own feminine energy and my own masculine energy, and let me fucking tell you people, like, let me, let me let you know that even the, even though I know some stuff, I still have plenty of work to do around my own healing. And it's really important that you know that because and I, and I use this analogy often inside of my groups where I'll say, I don't have to be a black belt to t teach a white belt. Like that's, that's the reality. And I'm not a black belt PS I'm far from it in this area, but I do know more than, you know, many because I've done the work, but it doesn't mean that I don't have, you know, work myself to do. And I mean, this morning was a tough morning. I had a morning working through some stuff with, my uh, past relationship and a whole bunch of things. So like, just understand that <clears throat> it's never a situation where you're like, oh, I'm done and I'm good and I'm going to fix everything today and tomorrow I'm going to be perfect. Like that's just not reality. So as I continued through my own healing and really discovering like how to, how to maybe work on my wounded masculine and my wounded feminine energies, I started to realize like live events were something that I'd really been avoiding thinking about and doing because they freaked me out, to be honest. Um, but that it was something that I really needed to, to offer to my clients. And so the first one of its kind is the Love Soldier Goddess Retreat. And here's what I know, <clears throat> excuse me, about, <clears throat> whew, about masculine energy women. And ladies, if you're listening to this, anyone who follows me, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, or the podcast, I really want you to hear that this is not a judgment at all. This is really just so that I, I know that it landed for you. But when you're in the masculine, it's really hard to play. It's really hard to feel joyous. It's really hard to feel in flow. Like you feel like you're walking around your life, having to do everything for everybody and that there's no help available. I feel that way lots of times. And I have to remind myself like, no, I do have a tribe of women around me and I just need to get better at asking for that support. But when you're, when you're deeply connected to just the masculine energy. So if that's you, that's somebody who's a mom, <clears throat> somebody who is a career woman, somebody who is 
um, a business owner, somebody who's high level in their job, like we tend to live predominantly in this masculine energy. And it, it just like, basically, like to the point, it'll burn you the fuck out. And by the time you and and like, let me be clear, this stuff, this burning out happens way younger than it did for the women. Like I'm 46 years old. It's happened. It happened to me in my early 40s, but it's happening to women way younger now. Why? Social media, because we are comparing ourselves to um, the, the entire world. And you're looking at this girl and that girl and you're like, oh, I'm not hustling hard enough. I'm not doing this hard enough. And so you end up burning yourself out at a much younger age than you would have, um, you know, in my generation. So, <clears throat> hey, Mark. Um, so when you're, when you're thinking, you know, constantly in this hustle mode, hustle mode all of the time, you get to this point where you're like, well, I don't want to fucking do anything and I'm tired and I don't want to live this life, but I don't know what to do. I don't know the first thing about feminine energy. I don't even really understand what Kara's talking about when it comes to masculine energy. Listen to past podcasts or past lives that I've done. There's, I've done a lot of, of talking around this. This is my passion. This is what I talk about. So when we, when we get to this point in our life, we start to think that taking care of ourselves is a luxury and it's not because, you know, when people talk about healthy eating, for example, a lot of people will say stuff like, well, it's really expensive to eat well. And by the way, I know it is expensive right now because of inflation. And I, if you want a really good explainer video about inflation, it's, I have one and it like, it made it all pop for me. I totally get it. So when you're when you're thinking about oh the food is expensive oh i can't afford it oh blah 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 you'll pay now or you'll pay later and that is the same with your fucking soul like that's the same for your heart that is the same for your inner peace you'll pay now or you'll pay later and that's something that i realized when i started going to tony robbins events like i have spent some money on those events i have spent a lot of money on my personal development because if i hadn't and let's just say five years ago before i started my personal development journey let's say that i i cheaped out and i was like i'm not gonna fucking do this i don't care i'm just gonna i would have continued to suffer for another five years like i was and when for me suffering is not being excited, not not being excited about what I'm doing, not being excited to help anybody, like just sitting in my own, stewing in my own bullshit, stewing in my own unhappiness because I didn't know any other way. Thank God I found Tony because that was the beginning of my transformation. That was the beginning of me doing things differently. And as you've all heard me say super openly, I love Tony Robbins. He's like some kind of weird, beautiful uncle mentor, I don't know, whatever to call them, but they miss the feminine energy piece. Like that whole world of personal development totally misses the feminine energy piece of the puzzle. And that's what I'm here to do. And so when you think about self-care and the goddess retreat is a form of self-care, it's an, it's not, it's not a bubble bath. It's not getting your nails only, you know, getting your nails done. It's a big commitment ish, but you pay now or you pay later. So when I say you pay now, if you're paying now, you're coming to the retreat. I've got, you know, there's six of us, uh, no, maybe eight. I'm not sure I have to check, but those women have committed to helping themselves. And this is a form of self-care. So what it is, we're not talking about business. It's It's four days together in Sedona. And if you've, again, if you followed me for any length of time, you will have known like Sedona has, radically changed my life and it's radically changed my life for one simple reason and it's it gave and it's not so simple but it gave me the ability to connect to myself and if you've never been this is this hello this is your wake-up call this is your sign it is one of the most extraordinary places i've ever been to and i haven't traveled a ton i plan on traveling a lot more excuse me nowadays but this place just puts me instantly at ease. Like I arrive as I'm pulling up because, you know, you drive in from Phoenix typically. Um, Last time I took my daughter, we drove in from Albuquerque, so completely different way. But as soon as you see those red rocks, your, your nervous system calms down. The parasympathetic nervous system calms down. It's a beautiful experience. 
So we're not going to talk about where it's like a, it's imagine a slumber party. And the reason I call it a slumber party, and I mean, I use that kind of interchangeably with the goddess retreat, but when I was growing up, here's what's real about entrepreneurs, female entrepreneurs in particular and leaders, all of them, all of them, like literally every one of them that I have met who are in a service type, um, either job or, but entrepreneur, like, let's just talk about the female entrepreneurs that I'm, I'm blessed to know. They've all had some type of trauma. And so for me personally, I had trauma as a child and I was not allowed to have sleepovers at my house or slumber parties at my house. Why? And it's interesting to me because as a kid, you think nobody knows the problems that are going on in my house. Like nobody knows. Cause I didn't tell anybody. I wasn't vocal about it, but parents know. And as a mom now, I can see which friends I would not allow my kids to go to just based on things that I've seen or witnessed or heard. And it's interesting because you think you're hiding it really well as a kid, you're not. And so all the kids' parents knew the shit that was going on in my house, however they found out or knew about it, they knew. And so nobody was allowed to come to my place for sleepovers. And so that was painful to me. And so what I've noticed is that a lot of us have had that similar experience. We didn't have um, time to like to play. We didn't have time to relax. We didn't have time to dip into the feminine as children, as young women. And so when I started to think about how can I create this environment for the other women around me, clients and women who want to come and join, how can I create this environment where it feels almost like you're 14, 15 years old and you're playing together and you're just fucking chilling. And so this is where the goddess retreat, goddess slumber party was born. And it's a small group on purpose, right? I'm never going to have huge retreats. The big event is the Love Soldiers Unite Conference, and and you're welcome to come and join us for that next year. But these retreats, and there's going to be multiples per year, but they're small and they're not meant to be yoga retreats. They're not meant to be meditation retreats. Some of that will happen in our retreat, but the reason, the purpose is to have fun because the feminine is playful. And if you're not playful, you're not having fun. And and it's really tricky for us because we're so conditioned to be serious and we're so conditioned to be in the masculine and we're so conditioned to get shit done that we don't know how to just fucking relax. And so this is, you will have no choice but to relax. And as we, as these retreats evolve, you know, the things that we do in the retreats will evolve. But for this one, this is the first one. Um, this, you're never going to get a price like this either. I just want to be clear about that because as it grows, we're going to start to add different elements to it and the price is going to go up. Like that's the reality. This one for four days, it's all inclusive. Once you arrive, so you fly yourself there, we'll find a way to get, you know, we're going to either rent cars or have a shuttle, bring you from the airport to the house, but it's all inclusive. It's 1999, like all inclusive four nights or sorry three nights four days all your foods included all your activities are included there's lots of extras we're gonna just like and what i want you to feel when you come through the door of this beautiful house that we have in sedona what i want you to feel is to drop your bags beside your bed and just fucking forget everything and just be together We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. We're going to have absolutely so much fun because this is the thing. Hey, Marnie. And so interesting that Marnie just joined. So she knew me back in the day. She knew me when I was going through a lot of the trauma that I went through in my house and she'll, she can attest to it. Like always very serious. I've always been very, very serious. And that's the masculine energy being very serious. And even now my girlfriends here make fun make loving fun of me because I follow the rules all the time. That's masculine energy. I still have to practice how to dip into my feminine. I still have to practice how not to be so fucking serious all the time. And this goddess retreat is that like I'm running it. Yes, I get to be in my masculine for you. But the whole goal is so that you women understand how to be able to toggle between your masculine and your feminine whenever you want instead of always being so freaking serious. So day one is Thursday, September 8th. So you arrive again, we will pick you up from the airport. We will get you to the house. No worries around that. And it's 80s movies night. Like I, and I have, I don't have it in front of me. I should have it in front of me, but I have a snack bar that I've planned like treats. So 
Thursday night, all your diets are out the fucking window. I don't want to hear a dang word about it. You're going to eat what you want. Have a good time. It's going to be candy bar and it's going to be bougie. Um, we're going to have, I'm going to make some really cool stuff because I love to cook. Again, feminine energy. Um, and then we're going to do some icebreaker games, some ridiculous, fun, stupid things that will break the pattern of being too serious and break your conditioning in that moment of being too far in your masculine. We're just going to play and we're going to have a good time. We're going to watch Top Gun. We're going to watch... What else are we watching? Dirty Dancing. Like, it's going to be amazing. So let me actually pull it up so that I can I can tell you exactly what the days are entailing. Because I did write it down. I put all this itinerary everywhere. And I just want you um, to just have a good idea of... Okay. Um, so that's, so that's d- day one. And then let me just move my thing here for a second. So day two, which is Friday. So we're going to have a breakfast bar. Um delicious, you know, healthy options ish, right? Got a, it's still a bit of a vacation. So homemade granola, we're going to have bagels, gluten-free bagels. We're going to have oatmeal with some fresh berries, protein bars, chai latte, coffee, tea, mud water, a smoothie bar. It's going to be epic. And so around nine o'clock, we're going on a pink Jeep tour. So if you've never been to Sedona, this I've never actually gotten to do, cause I, it's usually just me by myself when I go to Sedona. Um, but it's a, it's a pink Jeep tour. It's a huge company out there and they will take us to the back roads of the rocks. It's going to be amazing. Then we're going to come back to the house we're gonna have a light lunch so some salad chicken crispy tofu quinoa salad again i my team and i are going to be providing all of this and then in the afternoon we're doing uh and some of this is tentative yet right but ufo tour and a vortex tour uh and then we're going to come back to the house and we're going to make wands so i've seen some really incredible crystal wands we're going to get the supplies and we're going to come and hang out and make some wands and if you don't feel like making a wand that's free time um, at five o'clock, we're going to do a breath work session with me. Um, again, if you've never done breath work, it is life changing. I will lead the breath work session that, that, uh, late afternoon. And then at seven, we're going to have a barbecue. We're going to have like potato salad, Greek salad, Caesar salad, corn, all the fixins and all this beautiful food. It's going to be epic. There's a hot tub on site. So that might be something you're interested in, in the evening. And then around 9 PM, we're going to do fire and, um, drumming. So that'll be really cool. And then Saturday. So we're going to have, again, seven in the morning, we're doing an early breakfast. So um, this will be a hot breakfast bar. So like bacon, eggs, toast, waffles, vegan breakfast, sausage, the works. Um, And then we're going to do some priming together. And then Saturday's our shopping day. So we're going to go shopping um, uh, at the village. And then we're going to do, we're going to have a lunch in the village. And then we're going to come back and do like a glam squad. Um, so manicures, pedicures, mini massages, I think we'll have somebody to come and do Botox. Not positive on that one. We'll see if there's any interest. Uh, and then at 4 PM, we're going to do goddess photos. So I'm asking all the women to bring their, a beautiful flowy white outfit, whether it's a dress or pants or whatever, but everybody in white, then 5 PM, we're doing cocktail hour and wine tasting, which is so exciting. One of my clients, Wendy is doing that. And then 6 p.m., we're going to have a catered dinner. And then 7 p.m., we're going to do a final fire ceremony and shares of what's come up over the weekend. And then we're going to dance our asses off and have a bit of a party that night. And then on Sunday, we're going to do another warm or sorry, cold breakfast bar. And then 1030, we're going on a hike to the birthing cave and visiting um, this watering hole that my daughter and I discovered uh, when we went on our trip last month or the month before that. And then we're going to have a lunch, a quick lunch bar. And then I'm going to present some parting gifts to all of you who are there. And then it's home time. So that's a bit of, so let me just close that out. That, that's not a bit, that is the whole itinerary for the weekend. It's seriously going like when I think about, and I have to hold, I mean, I, I'm getting verklempt already, but like when I think about having the ability and the desire to serve you in this way, it really humbles me and it does bring tears to my eyes because I know I need this and I know you need it. And I think, wow, like how lucky are we that we can actually experience these things together. And it's just a matter of saying yes to yourself and yes, I'm going to go and invest this, you know, couple thousand dollars in my, cause it is in your development. Like this is going to, you're going to come out of this with I like understanding how to go between the two energies. 
Uh, and it's not, and it's not a one hit wonder either, right? You have to continue to do your growth and you have to continue to be coached and continue to be in masterminds. But this is like one of those really beautiful ways that will awaken the feminine in you and just give you a fucking break. Like give yourself a break. Like I, yes, I'm going to be the, you know, coordinating it, but this is still going to be the most beautiful break I'm going to get probably in the next few months. Next is UPW with Tony. That's never a break. That's hard ass work, but I'm just, I really, you know, again, we have three more spots left. Um, I sent an email to a couple of women that I know that put their hand up to join. So if this is speaking to you and you want to be a part of it and you know that you need to be a part of it and you need to feel this level of relaxation and this level of play and this level of like just sisterhood, these women that are coming are so incredible. Like I can't even explain it to you. You're going to have the most incredible time. So if it's speaking to you, let me know. And if not, then it, maybe you know somebody else who it's it's good for. Um, and that's it. Let me know if you want any more details. And I will happily send them to you. The link, tree, the link is in my link tree in my bio. Um, and if you're listening to the podcast, same thing. Go to Instagram at Love Soldier Army and you will find the link in the link tree as well. All right, guys. Bye, Facebook. Bye.